Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mission Team of the Century Series 3 with Real Valladolid. And um, yeah, as we get into this new uh, new episode, just going to go through a few of the stats uh, this season, see who we really need to get rid of. And um, yeah, after the first game, I'll probably look for some... Um, some replacements for those players hopefully i'll write it down somewhere and um yeah i'll show it on the screen it might be in a graphic or i might just say it just yeah i might i'll probably just say it but yeah let's look at the appearance so the most appearances is hold by or held by jimenez which i think is our goalkeeper let me check if i go back <clears throat> yeah it's our goalkeeper jimenez kind of bad that I don't even know but um, yeah so he has our most appearances I think this season he's been all right the, at the start was a bit shaky but um, yeah it was it's, it's been all right now um, who's Oza? Oza oh Oza is our backup goalkeeper okay well it kind of makes sense why he hasn't played um, Let's see goals, obviously Estupan has 19 goals in 15 appearances, which is very good. With two assists, um, he's doing quite well this season. He's, I wouldn't say he's on murder level, but he's um, he's definitely he's definitely doing doing good this season. Uh, because second in goal scored is six, which is 13 behind is uh, Oliveira. And he has that in about 16 appearances. So, um, yeah, it's a stupid and really get most of the goals. Let's see who has the most assists. There's Oliveira. Uh, most yellow cards joined. And there hasn't been a red card this season. But, um, yeah. A stupid nine of 19 goals. Oh, he's actually top goal scorer in the league. Wow, okay. All right, then. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to stop waffling. Uh, there's no one to sub. So, we're going to get into the first game of this episode. We're facing Ibar. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping a stupid man can find some magic somewhere. Gives it. Oh, okay, doesn't find a stupid man. Here's McNaughton, Dresovic, Lopez, Oliveira. Oh, I should have just shot. I was, oh my gosh. I was trying to give it to a stupid man so he can get more goals, but he. Man, I need to stop doing that. Or get better players. Oliveira, shoot! Finished. Great finish there. And uh, in from the throw in. Crossed in nicely. Headed. Cushion header. And um, it was a good finish across the body of the goalkeeper. So a bit difficult to, uh, to save. And we approach half time. Only, we only had about two or three opportunities in that first half. Um... I think I'm going to bring Wing on for Lopez. And we'll get into the second half of this match. Oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Oh, he did a step over. Oh, my goodness me. I knew as soon as soon as that leg goes over the ball, I know my defenders are just gonna fall asleep. I just know it. And that's it. We get the uh, the one-one draw. Oliveira getting the goal and Zakaria, I think that's how you pronounce it, getting the equaliser. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of team training, and then I will look for some players. 
as Jimenez went up by one, which is good. Oh, so did Rina Mota. This team is coming along nicely. Van Neef, Dresovic. Um, do some more attacking training. Oh, Dresovic went out by one. But yeah, um, I think uh, the places where we actually need to, the the positions where we actually need to uh, to improve or strengthen is definitely the right centre back. Um. And then I would say the right wing, right wing position. So those two are the most important. If we can somehow in the in the next season get uh, suitable players for under twenty five mil, then um, you know I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. So I'm just gonna quickly look for some right sided centre backs and a right winger, and I'll be back to basically share the good news. All right, I am back and I've made a, a list of five right-sided centre-backs and five right-wingers that I'm going to go for. So I'm just going to show you, um, I'll show you all of them. So the first one we have is a Mawson. So yeah, he's a right-sided right -side, right centre-back. Um, he's got everything that I look for in a defender on this game. So he's quite tall, 189 centimetres. Uh, he's got good heading, so when they cross it in, he should be able to um, he should be able to head it out. His tackling need may need a bit of work, uh, but his strength is is decent as well. Along with um, passing and ball control, is also very important to me because um, sometimes you, as a defender, you might need to turn and adjust yourself. So um, yeah, ball control is very uh, is very very important. Uh, the second player I need to show is Postigo he's also got uh, similar traits to to Mawson he's also quite tall he's taller than Mawson he's 190 centimeters uh, he's got better heading uh, better tackling he's stronger but um, his ball control is worse and so is his passing so that's the only issue with him so, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I, I guess I'll decide at the end of the season. The third centre back I have is Itaka. So I, I think he's just going to be our backup in case the first two don't really work out. Uh, because sometimes they say that we don't have enough players, so they're not going to sell. Or sometimes they may raise the fee. So um, this will be our set, our backup. Um, yeah, not really much to say about him. He's he's got he's got the height, he's got the tackling. It's just his heading and strength that need a lot of work. Ball control is there also, um, and passing is is quite good. But yeah, I still I still see him as a backup choice. Um, and we've got Cruz. This guy is this guy is quite incredible because he's very very tall. Um, he's got good ball control, good passing, decent strength. Strength isn't all that, but it's okay. Um, tackling needs a lot of work, so again, this guy will be our our backup. But one thing that did did catch my eyes is set pieces, and um, actually his stats all across. It doesn't dip below 60, which is nice to see in a centre back. Yeah. Um, Next up, we have Burn. Burn from Brighton. He's also going to be our backup because of the tackling and the strength. But the heading is is pretty much there. So um, yeah, I can't wait for the for the end of the season because a centre back is needed, very much needed. Now we're going to go on to the right wingers. Oh, I think I spelled it wrong. Oops. There we go. Yeah, so we have Snodgrass. So he's um, he's a right winger. He's left-footed, which is what I, I like in 
in wingers. Um, he's also got very good ball control and he's quite quick as well. Um, his shooting may need a bit of work, but it's not too bad. And the set pieces is, is decent as well. So I think this will be our first choice right winger if we go for one. Yeah, this guy looks like he has uh, he has potential to be something special if uh, if we can sign him. Next up, we have Zen Neely. Um, I really picked this guy because he's quick. He's very quick, which is really what I need. I need someone who can beat play beat players with pace. Um, his crossing will need a bit of work. Uh, it kind of worries me because the max that you can upgrade a stat by is 20. So his crossing can only ever reach 76, which is a bit of a worry. But we'll see. We'll see if we if we even get him. Um, ball control is decent as well and um, yeah his shooting is quite good so um, could be quite good in front of goal next up we have oh I spelled it wrong is that that? there we go oh no it's not is that have I spelled it wrong there's a player called listen Oh, it's Linson. Okay. I spelled it wrong. Uh, yeah. So, Linson, he's got good stats across the board. As you can see, tackling at 60, which is um, something that also catches my eye. Because um, in the future, in maybe future seasons, I might want to play like a high press sort of tactic where I put my uh, team on attacking. So players will be bombing forward and I'll kind of need that tackling so I can win the ball up high um, yeah that's that's the main reason why I picked him is that's uh, basically just average across the board yeah it's just average but once it's trained it can you can actually be a very dangerous player so um, we'll go on to the fourth player, which is Schlager. Um, I picked him, yeah, basically as a as a backup, uh, just in case I don't get the other four or other three. Um, yeah, stats just like like Linson, uh, very average across the board. Um, set piece needs a bit of work. Um, his tackling is also quite good, but um, yeah. And we'll get into the last player, which is probably one of the players I'll go for, is Castellin. Um, this guy, he's got decent height on him. He's quite quick. Ball control's there. Crossing is there. Shooting needs a bit of work, and so does the heading. Tackling also is a bit of a worry because it can be maximum 54, which is uh, a bit annoying. But... um. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this. This player, I feel like, even though his his rating is lower than the rest, I feel like he can still be one of our top um, potential signings. Um, all that really needs work is his shooting and stamina. So, um, yeah. That, those are the players I'm going to go for. I'm probably going to write the list down. Or I have written the list down. And um, I'll save it. And then when it comes to the end of the season, I'll try and go for those players. Um, yeah, but it has to be under £25 million. Pounds. But yeah, let's get into the second game of this episode. We're up against Levante. Let's clear that out. Vanif finds Oliveira. Oliveira finds a stupid man. Estefanan's on the run. Oh my word, he finished. He actually finished it. I don't know why I'm... Why am I surprised? Why am I surprised? He's used to finishing from those sort of angles. And uh, makes it 1-0. I think that's his, that's his 20th goal of this season. And we're only at the... We're only in January, basically. Or near January. 
Oliveira. A stupid and oh, ho, ho. good header. And uh, he does. Uh, he scored a similar a similar goal in the previous previous episode, where he came in behind the defender. The defender was unaware, and um, heads home to make it two nil. And number ninety nine gets on the score sheet once again. Well, the game ends. It's full time. Estupinan gets the brace, and um, yeah, we get the two 0 victory. Could have easily have been two two. Luckily, um, Jimenez in goal, doing wonders, and um, yeah, we need to get rid of Kopp. and um, the help of Dresovic as well. He's been amazing this season. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of team training. And then end the episode there. Oh, wing went up by eight. Okay, he's on eighty eight sprint speed. Uh, let's do attacking. And we'll do fitness again. Alright. That is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.